you guys hey going? Guys. What's going on, gentlemen? Um, Chris was just saying that he thought, you know, a big part of your offseason was, you know, you lost a little weight, you guys were in better shape than in the past. Um, how much of that, you know, was just part of your plan for this year? How much part of it just, you, you know, being healthy for first time in a long time, too? Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely was um, wanting to lose a little weight coming back into this season. Uh, you know, just to be able to have better conditioning, you know, run around a little better. And uh, so, yeah, that was that was definitely part of my off season. And um, and then, yeah, like you said, I mean, health is what well, they say health as well. So, you know, being healthy is a huge part of being on the field, obviously. And so getting that opportunity is um, health has a, a big, you know, plays a big part in that. You're playing really well this year. It's clearly your best year. What do you think? click for you maybe this season is it simply the health or was yeah it it's health I mean it's, uh, it's it's you know there's a progression that that occurs I feel like with every player and um and when you're robbed of that you know you don't get to see that progression so um you know early on second year uh, I played one game and was out then last year played uh pretty okay up until the Tennessee game where I probably think I had pretty good game against Tennessee last year you know we obviously lost but um, and then got hurt again. So I think, um, yeah, just being healthy. I mean, you know, you're getting to see um, putting me putting together a full season is, is the biggest, um, I feel like, you know, thing that people are getting to see this year. What has um, Bill Cullen done for you to maybe accentuate your athleticism, Colin? Because that's what you were known for, obviously, when you came into the league. Mm -hmm. And that was obviously evident um, in Sunday's game. Yeah. Um, no, Coach Cullen is a great coach, um, first and foremost. He, uh, you know, it brings energy every day, and that's I'm a big energy guy. So, you know, just uh, tapping into that, um, tapping into that energy. And then also, you know, I mean, technique from a technique standpoint, uh, standpoint, you can learn a lot from different coaches. You know, I learned a lot from uh, BD last year before we got Joe Cullens. And, and uh, so, I, you know, the technique, you can always pick up new things. Um, but I think it's just the energy. I mean, um, you know, you got those guys that, that you feed off of, and I'm one of those guys that – you know, a locker room guy, you know, I'm cool with everybody. And um, that extends up to the coaches. I mean, even up to Spags and Coach Reed and those guys. And it's crazy. I'm getting a little older um, in my career. And, uh, you know, I used to be, like, kind of scared to talk to Coach Reed or them be like, oh, I want to go talk to the big man. And now it's like, you know, it's, it's just a relationship um, where it's like a working relationship. And I feel like that kind of is contributes to the success I've been having is just, you know, growing in that relationship, uh, getting a lot of trust. It, trust is a huge part in it. And I think early on in the preseason, one, when they saw how I came back for the preseason, and then two, uh, with my play throughout the preseason, I think that, um, you know, they saw how serious I was taking it and just, you know, ready to attack this year. You know, the Jags haven't gotten a lot of wins yet, but they've been really competitive in games. They finally got through last week. Looks like Etienne's been a real big part of it. Absolutely. Uh, what do you guys? What's your main focus this week when you're trying to stop this offense? Yeah, um, like you said, uh, Etn uh, Travis, he's a he's a heck of a running back. Um, he, uh, he's just starting to get his opportunity. Uh, I think about week six is uh, around when he started to full time start. And ever since then, he's been on a tear. So, yeah, he's definitely a, a huge uh, focal point in stopping um, these guys. But like you said, to their credit, man, um, you know, as hard as ever to win games in this league, and so. Um, you know, that's a credit to them. I mean, like like you said, they might not have the win loss total might not look the part, but you know, you got big games and you got close games and you know, a lot of these teams that are two and whatever, um, the five losses they'll have usually is one score games. So, you know what I mean? They they fight to the end and like I said, like I prefaced this by saying it's hard hard as ever to win in this league and um I think that they're a great team, you know, well put together team. Um, you know, they've dropped some just like any other team does, and that doesn't matter because um, at the end of the day, you got to prepare for your opponent's best. You got to prepare like everybody in in this league is professional, which they are. And um, so, you know, we can't look at no win loss totals or anything like that. We got to get ready to play a, a fully prepared Jacksonville team. So that's all we focus on. Um, we, um, we know how much Chris impacts you and how much influence he has on you. Obviously, you guys are very close. Mm -hmm. I just wonder. Um, from a schematic standpoint, what has he done for you, and how much pride do you take having success alongside him, knowing that teams are obviously sort of IP in him? Oh, as part man, of their plan. absolutely. That's that's uh, I love I love being in with Chris because I mean, outside of you know um, our personal relationship, like him being a really huge friend, um, you know, from 2019 when I first got here, and then the actual on field, um, man, it's 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 a blessing to be able to play next to him because. 
I'm not getting the slide, you know what I mean? <laughs> so so uh, I usually don't have to worry about that, and it makes uh, it makes you know my matchup a little more easy. So um, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm lucky to be able to play with a guy like that, and um, and for him to still come out and know the slides coming to him, know the doubles coming, and still produce the way he does, man, that, he's a special player. Was your, uh, was your backup move, was that one of your favorite plays in your career? Oh, yeah, the absolutely. amount of effort it, it took? Yeah, yeah, it got to showcase a little of the wheels, so, you know, I, I, I like to run. So I like to show um, some speed every time I get on the field, and I think that that, sp that sack uh, got to, you know, show I can pick him up and put him down a little bit. Last one, though. You mentioned the game against Cincy last year, obviously, you have a great performance the other night. Yeah. How much pride have you taken in building up your run defense? Oh man, um, I always make a joke. You know, Chris got the sack nation, and I'm, I'm I credit myself as the run nation, me and Naughty, and you know the big guys in there. Cause uh, sack nation, I love it. I love sack nation. I'm got to uh, be a part of it uh, in this last game, uh, finally. You know, but you know that's my my biggest thing. Like you said, is is it's all about that run because, um, I mean, if you can't get to passing situations, how do you expect the rest to pass it? And so um, I take great pride in getting it going from first and ten to second and eight, or first and ten to second and seven. I don't like you know three yard three. Yard, my goal is don't let them get three yards and up because then we can get in the passing situation. Then we can get an incompletion to make it third and eight. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's that's me. You know I'm, I'm I credit myself as uh as the as Kansas City's run defense. Um, I, I I plan on you know anybody can whoever hears it. I don't care. You know if you want to run the ball. It's gonna have to be through me, and I and I've been working my tail off to make sure that I can defend that um, as best as, as best as I can. And you know the pass pass rush will come, but run. You know everybody runs the ball, so you got to get them in the in the passing situations. Thank you guys. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.